Hi, welcome to Market Alert uh, for Thursday, the 1st of March 2018. So yesterday in the pound, uh, if we get the right chance, that's the doubt. Let's just uh, switch here for a second. There we go. So yeah, in the pound uh, yesterday, the market uh, attempted to move higher mid-morning. Uh, failed to do so, found uh, the resistance here where we had the previous selling and then uh, once we were back below the 20 bar moving average it was uh, all the way down bit of buying pressure there as we approach the psychological level there of 138.50 uh, but then uh, continuing lower and the reason for this is as we looked at yesterday the dollar index is continuing to strengthen and move to the upside there is uh, some resistance across here though so uh, watch out uh, for this level but it has taken out uh, this level here um, yeah it's certainly showing a, a bit of strength there at the moment and what with uh, the brexit thing with the customs union and all the rest of it is uh, certainly weighing on the pound at uh, the moment so again there we go so yeah a bit of weakness around in the pound uh, attempting to move higher this morning and in the daily chart you can see that we're back down to uh, these lows here at 137.64 trying to get back above here no major selling around in this area though at the moment so even though prices are moving lower there's not much uh, selling around there but uh, through the 76 percent retracement yesterday news wise what have we got today uh, manufacturing pmi net lending um, the US is what I'm more interested in. Uh, we see we've got uh, uh, Powell out today. He's uh, speaking at uh, 3 p.m. Uh, this will be the first time he's actually testified when it's been the main part of the Dow uh, session. So it may be worthwhile just standing aside there. He's going to do his best to uh, try and pump the markets back to the upside. No doubts uh, about that. Meanwhile, in the Dow, the market, uh, we go back to the daily chart uh, yesterday. Uh, we looked at uh, this resistance here, major area, and we've seen the market uh, move lower yesterday by 300 and odd points, as you'll see in the daily chart. Uh, we had a, a sell signal early on, uh, but of course, uh, the market uh, doing its usual thing, coming back and uh, eventually making lower highs before closing below the 20 bar average and uh, shooting down some uh, 300 points uh, from the high down to the close of the session which is uh, 21.05 there just take this one here uh, 451 point range yesterday as the market gave up the ghost and again because of what's in the background here you can see exactly what's uh, going on uh, if you look at the bigger picture it's easier to work out where prices are likely to go I'm just going to uh, come back to the daily I'm going to measure the low to the recent high and you'll see the market coming back to oh, again an area where it's likely to find some sort of support there so we'll just save that and in the implied volatility uh, this uh, creeping up from 1531 which had crept up from the previous day from around 13 and a half to 15.31 and yesterday 16 so at the moment, the option seller is still marking up the uh, put options on the basis that this market is going to go uh, lower in the shorter term. Again, keep your eye on Powell today, see what he's got to say. Meanwhile, in uh, Bitcoin land, uh, the market uh, finding a bit of support at the moment on the trend line that uh, we drew in yesterday. Uh, also, we've got a bit of a, a retracement going on here as well. It looks around about a 50% retracement. Now, let's just have a, a quick look and see. There we go. That's the tool I'm after. Yeah, we've got uh, the market trading up to uh, the 61% area there. Uh, it came close to there. So if it breaks through here, uh, we'll expect a bit of support here. Uh, otherwise, it's down to here for Bitcoin as uh, this market is still trying to consolidate following the 70% uh, uh, pullback from uh, Christmas there. So that's where we are in the bigger time frame for Bitcoin as well. And that's about it really, isn't it? It's just a matter of waiting to see what Powell's got to say today. And again, weakness in the pound, weakness in the Dow. 
is the story of uh, today. Right, that will do it for this one. Stay warm, and if there's anything to report, I will let you know. Other than that, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.